We live in a very toxic world. This also applies in our relationships, work, studies, personal lives. Dagdag mo pa yung mga nonsense and irrelevant issues circulating on social media, plus global problems like endless war, climate change, economic recession, at sobrang dami pang iba. Talagang mapapaisip ka, how will I survive and live in this toxic world? Let me tell you my story how I did it. Years ago, I had the worst mental breakdown in my life. Ang hirap pa nun is kinikip ko lang sa sarili ko lahat. Because I did not want my loved ones to carry the burden that I am feeling. Nanjan yung anxiety, worry, fear, and I even lost my will to live before. Because I allowed myself to absorb all the negativity that surrounds me. I exhausted myself because I thought that it will help me escape reality. Pero yung totoo, there is no escape. The only way is to have courage to accept that anything you cannot control, you have to let go. To be able to survive and live. Just focus on what you can control, do your part, do your best, and stop stressing yourself with the things you alone cannot change. Stop torturing yourself. Stop being hard on yourself. Stop forcing yourself to have all the time and energy to understand everything. Make it simple. Yan yung mga sinabi ko sa sarili ko nung time na yun. And believe me, once you start with this kind of mindset, you will feel a lot better and you will be okay. Change is inevitable. Gaya lang yan ng social change, cultural change, technological change, global change. Nangyayari talaga siya. It can be painful, but nothing is more painful than being stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. So kung feeling mo ngayon, hindi mo nakaya yung mga nangyayari sa paligid mo or sa sarili mo, magtiwala ka. Kaya mo yan. Remember, we humans have been adapting to change for so long. Isa nga tayo sa mga species na hanggang ngayon nag e pa rin. But of course, there will come a time na ma e din tayo. Siyempre, pag naubos na yung resources, or malay nyo naman, mag-innovations, mapagpatuloy pa. Who knows? Halimbawa lang ha, na-discover mo ngayon na meron kang malalang sakit. Tinaningan ka na ng doktor mo. Sabi niya, meron ka na lang 3 years para mabuhay. Anong gagawin mo? A. Gugugulin mo ba yung tatlong taon para malungkot at isipin mag-isa na bilang na lang yung mga araw mo, kaya ang gagawin mo, lalayo ka sa mga taong mahal mo? Or B. Susulitin mo yung tatlong taon na meron ka para gawin yung mga bagay na nagpapasaya sa'yo bago ka man lang mawala. Alin man dun sa dalawang choices ang pipiliin mo, Wala namang mali. Kasi, syempre, meron tayong kanya-kanyang opinion. We only have one life to live. So, it's up to us if we want it to be meaningful or meaningless. Change is constant. What if pinili mo A, tapos sa loob ng tatlong taon, biglang nagkaroon ng medical and technological advancement at meron na palang cure dun sa sakit mo. For sure, kung yung choice B ang pinili mo, wala kang magiging regrets, kasi wala kang sinayang na panahon, ginawa mo yung mga bagay na magpapasaya sa'yo, and nagkaroon ka pa ng pag-asa na magagawa mo pa yun ng mas matagal. Come to think of it, ito ba yung ilan sa mga ginagawa ko for me to be able to live in the present? Set boundaries. Know what you are okay with and what you are not. Protect your personal space no matter what. Mapa mental, emotional, or physical health man yan. Ito simpleng example. Halimbawa, merong gustong makipag-usap sa'yo and yung taong yun, wala na siyang ibang alam na topic kung hindi chismis and ayaw mo nun. You should learn how to say no, I'm not comfortable with this. No, I'm not okay with this. Or, no, I don't have time for this without the need to over-explain. You don't owe anyone an explanation, especially kung ginagawa mo yun to protect your inner peace. Pero syempre, dapat yung wala kang tinatapakang tao. Kung hindi naman nila nire-respeto yung boundaries mo, you can just ignore them. Pero kung makulit talaga sila, stand to your ground. Kasi you deserve what you tolerate. Feeling mo hindi mo deserve ng ganong kanegahan? Wag mong itolerate. And lastly, 
learn, and move forward. Yung mga experiences natin sa past, may it be good or bad. Nandiyan na yan eh, hindi mo na mababago yan. Ang magagawa lang natin is mag-reflect kung ano ba yung mga natutunan natin and kung ano yung pwede pa nating gawin para hindi na natin maulit kung meron man tayong mistake na nagawa. Yung mga personal na problema ng iba na dapat hindi mo naman iniisip, wag mo nang problemahin, wag mo nang dagdagan yung mga problema mo. Alam ko lagi na nating naririnig to yung bago mo ayusin yung problema ng iba, ayusin mo muna yung problema mo sa sarili mo. Mag-focus ka sa sarili mo kung ano yung mga pwede mong gawin para mag-improve ka. Kasi personal growth is a choice, hindi yan nangyayari basta-basta. Kung hindi ka man successful na gawin yung gusto mong gawin dati, pwedeng-pwede ka namang sumubok ulit eh. Or kung trinay mo pero nag-fail ka, huwag kang panghinaan ng loob kasi tandaan mo, you are not starting from scratch, you are starting from experience. Mas lamang ang may alam. And since you know better, you can be the best version of yourself. And even if the world is toxic, you can survive. Not just survive, you can live your life To the fullest, the power is in your hands.